people my name is Masha and welcome to my vlog this is already the second one if you didn't see the first one then you didn't see it <laughs> and if you didn't see it then you don't know that I am preparing my Etsy shop for opening and in the last video I introduced you three of my designs and showed you a big part of the creative process but this, since since I posted my first vlog, I've been feeling more anxious than ever before. Sharing my creations and my thoughts with the world means opening up a very vulnerable part of myself to others. While I don't expect many views, but the idea that anyone in the world can watch me bear my soul feels overwhelming. But I believe that with time I'll become more comfortable and will find peace of mind in sharing my work. But in the meanwhile, there are some things that help me to cope with anxiety. And today I would like to share these things with you. Perhaps they will offer some solace to the other vulnerable and anxious souls who are watching me now. Here are all the creations that I've made for my shop lunch. It's not much, but it's exactly what I wanted. I have no idea if any of these creations will find a new home, but it's okay. I only have a few tasks left to complete before we find out what the future holds. received a small watercolor set as a Christmas gift and it sat unused until recently. Despite never having worked with watercolors before, I had a good feeling about it and decided to use them to paint some cute bookmarks and thank you cards as gifts for those who purchased from my shop. I began by following some simple tutorials and just went with the flow. The experience was incredibly calming and therapeutic allowing me to forget about everything else while I paint it. Now, whenever I feel anxious, I turn to my watercolor palette and paint some cute flowers, allowing me to forget about my worries and just enjoy the process. It's important to start with something simple and turn off that perfectionist voice in your head. Otherwise, it might not help, but make things worse. Have you ever heard about Elizabeth Gilbert? She's a well-known author who talks a lot about creativity. And one of the things she frequently addresses is perfectionism. In her book, Big Magic, she writes about how perfectionism can be a creativity killer because it sets impossibly high standards that we can never truly meet. Instead of striving for perfection, Gilbert suggests that we aim for done instead. Focus on finishing your creative projects, even if they are not perfect. This can help you overcome the fear of failure that often holds us back from pursuing our passions. So if you are struggling with perfectionism, remember that done is better than perfect. And then the most important thing is to keep creating.
believe that painting, for example, watercolor painting, is a great opportunity to overcome both anxiety and perfectionism by creating, for example, unperfectly perfect flowers. This practice allows us to let go of the need for perfection and instead focus on the process and the beauty that can be found in imperfection. It's a reminder that sometimes the most beautiful things come from embracing our mistakes and imperfections rather than striving for an unattainable level of perfection. Another thing that has been incredibly helpful for me in dealing with an anxiety is something quite obvious, really, exercise. For sports, I learn to push myself outside of my comfort zone and build confidence, which really has a positive impact on my overall mental health. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I would simply pack my bag, switch off all my phone notifications and head out for a good workout. Not only it does wonders for my body, but it's also a great way to clear my mind and find some inner peace. Taking care of my plants has also been a great help in reducing my anxiety. Removing the dust from the leaves or just talking to them can be so therapeutic. Do you also talk to your plants or just me being a little bit of a weirdo? Every plant is like a small therapist, providing a calming and soothing presence in our home and workspace. And I needed one more therapist so badly.
Before I can open my shop, I need to take care of one more important thing, the packages. Of course, I want them to look beautiful and I have the resources to buy new boxes and other materials for packing. But while I'm in the very beginning of my small business journey, I just didn't want to. Instead, I came up with an idea to recycle the materials I already had at home. I always keep everything that can be used again to reduce the waste. Also, the recycling takes more time and effort to make the packages look presentable. I believe it's important to prioritize sustainability and do what we can do to take care of our beautiful planet. I put love and care in each package, and while they may not look as perfect as new ones, I hope my customers can appreciate the effort and the thought that went into them. What do you think? Would you mind receiving a bit weird looking box, but made of only recycled materials? But let me know your thoughts. Thank you for joining me in this vlog. As you are watching this, my Etsy shop is now officially open and all of my unique creations are waiting for the new owners in environmentally friendly recycled boxes along with small bookmark gifts. I also open up about my struggles with an anxiety in this video. And while my tips may not work for everyone, I hope that my story and vulnerability can bring you some comfort and remind you that you are not alone as an anxious soul. Thank you again for your support and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!